For today's video, we are going to talk about how to find the center and radius of a circle. And there are two different equations that you need to remember. The first one is the standard form that is x minus h quantity square plus y minus k quantity square equals r square, where the center is h comma k and radius is equal to r. And the second one is the general form, and that is x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f equal to 0. And to find the value of h and k in the general form, for h we have negative d over 2, and for k we have negative e over 2. And to find the radius, that is square root of h squared plus k squared minus f. And those are the formulas that you need to remember in order for us to find the center and radius of a circle. So let's start and let's have an example. On the given set of example, we are going to find the center and radius of a circle in the given equation. On example numbers 1 to 4, all of the given equation are written in standard form. And that is quantity x minus h square plus quantity y minus k square equals r square where center that is h comma k and radius that is r so to find the center let us have negative 3 so we are going to write as positive 3 so all we have to do is to take the opposite sign and that is positive 3 and this will be 4 so our center will be 3 comma 4 and to find the radius, we have r square equals 25. So let us square both sides. So the value of the radius is square root of 25, and that is 5. And this will be our answer. On number 2, we have quantity x plus 5 square plus quantity y plus 2 square equals 10. So let us have the center. Since this will be positive 5, we are going to have negative 5 and then negative 2. So our center is negative 5 comma negative 2. And r square, that is 10. So let us square both sides of the equation. So the value of the radius is square root of 10. And this will be our answer. On number 3, we have x square plus quantity y plus 1 square equals 36. Since there is no value for h, we are going to have center at 0, comma, negative 1. And then r square will be 36. And to find the radius, let us have the square root of 36, and that is 6. On number 4, we have x squared plus y squared equals 7. Since there is no h and k, our center will be 0, comma, 0. And r squared will be 7. Let us square both sides of the equation. So the value of the radius is square root of 7. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, we have x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 6y minus 11 equals 0. As you can see, the given example is written in general form, and that is x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. So there are two different solutions in order for us to find the center and radius. The first one is by means of using a formula for center and radius, and that is center will be negative d over 2, comma, negative e over 2, and for the radius, that is square root of h square plus k square minus f. So let us have the value of h, and that is negative d over 2. So the value of d is negative 8. This will be negative times negative 8 over 2. Negative times negative 8 is positive 8 divided by 2 and that is 4. And this will be the value of h. And for the value of k, that is negative e over 2. So this will be negative the value of e, that is 6 divided by 2 and that is negative 3. So therefore, our center will be 4 comma negative 3. 
and to find the radius we have square root of h square plus k square minus f so let us have square root of h square so this will be 4 square plus k that's negative 3 and then square minus the value of f is negative 11 so this will be negative 11 4 square that is 16 negative 3 square that is 9 negative times negative 11 is positive 11 16 plus 9 that is 25 plus 11 is 36 so this will be square root of 36 so the value of the radius is 6 and this will be our answer so let us confirm our answer using completing the square so i'm going to write this one as x square followed by negative 8x and then y square plus 6y and i'm going to move negative 11 on the other side of equation this will be 11 and then i'm going to group this one to perform a completing the square so this will be x square minus 8x plus y square minus plus 6y equals 11. So what must be added in this expression to make this one as a perfect square trinomial? So all you have to do is to divide the coefficient of the middle term by 2 and then square the result. Negative 8 divided by 2, that is negative 4. Negative 4 square is 16. So let us add 16 on the other side of equation. And then 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 3 squared, that is 9. So whatever you add on the left side, it must be added on the right side of equation. Let us factor this one. The factor or the square root of x squared, that is x sine of the middle term is negative. Square root of 16 is 4. And then square plus Square root of y squared, that is y. Sine of the middle term is positive. Square root of 9, that is 3. And then a square. And then let's add 11 plus 16 plus 9 is 36. So the center is 4, comma, negative 3. And r squared, that is 36. Let us square both sides. So the radius will be 6. So as you can see, we come up with the same answer. You can use any of this solution, by the way. On example number 6, we have 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 16x plus 24y plus 36 equals 0. So as you can see, all of the terms in the given equation are divisible by 4. So to minimize this one, we can divide the whole equation by 4. 4x squared divided by 4, that is x squared. 4y squared divided by 4, that is y squared. Negative 16x divided by 4 is negative 4x. 24y divided by 4 is 6y. 36 divided by 4, that is 9. And to find the radius and center, let us have the formula for center. That's negative d over 2 and negative e over 2. And for the radius, that is square root of h square plus k square minus f. So let us have h, that's negative d over 2. So this will be negative and d that is negative 4 divided by 2 and that is 2. And for k, that is negative e over 2. So this will be negative and e that is 6 divided by 2, that is negative 3. So therefore, our center, that is 2, comma, negative 3. And for the radius, that is square root of h square. So this will be 2 square plus k square, and that's negative 3 square minus f, that is 9. So this will be 2 square, that is 4. Negative 3 square, that is 9 minus 9. We can cancel this one. It will give us square root of 4, and the square root of 4, that is 2. And this will be our radius. On our last example, we have x squared plus y squared minus 2y equals 8. So to find the center and radius, let us rewrite this one into general form. So this will be x squared plus 
y square minus 2y. Let us move 8 on the other side of equation. This will be negative 8 equals 0. Where the value of d is 0 and the value of e is negative 2 and the value of f is negative 8. And to find the center, that is negative d over 2 comma negative e over 2 and reduce that is square root of h square plus k square minus f. So to find the value of h that's have negative d over 2, since there is no value for d, so this will be 0 over 2 and that is 0. And for k, that is negative e over 2, so this will be negative and the value of e is negative 2 divided by 2 and that is 1. So therefore, our center, that is 0 comma 1. And for the radius, we have h square, so this will be 0, plus 1 square minus f, that is negative 8. So this will be 0 plus 1 square, that is 1, negative times negative is positive, and then 8. 1 plus 8, that is 9, and the square root of 9, that is 3, and this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless us all.